It's been raining here a lot in Ganchanaburi province recently, uh, but this morning the sky has started to break up a little bit. So I headed up into Tongpapum National Park. I soon came across this dead crab and saw that there were several small butterflies feeding on the body of this crab. These butterflies uh, belong to the species known as the metallic cerulean. Um, they are members of the second largest group of butterflies, the blues. This group contains approximately 6,000 species and the majority of these are involved in some kind of relationship with ants. Uh, this ranges from a mutually beneficial relationship where the uh, larvae of the butterfly provide some kind of food source to the ants and the ants presumably uh, provide protection to the larvae to downright predation of ant larvae by the butterfly larvae. Of course both crab and butterfly belong to the same group of animals known as the arthropods. These animals are, are characterized by having an external skeleton and um, in order to move therefore they require softer joints and it's quite clear that the insects feeding here are concentrating their efforts around the joints of the legs as well as around the mouth parts and the eyes. It was fascinating watching the long proboscis of these butterflies probing for a place to feed and then stopping there to suck up whatever nutrients it had found. Little droplets of liquid continually pumping out of the body of the butterfly. It really did uh, make me feel that the, the whole butterfly was very much like a filter with the nutrient-laden liquids going in one end and all the goodies being uh, collected by the butterfly's body and then the uh, liquid that uh, wasn't required passing out the other end. And so here we see molecules going from a crab's body into building a butterfly's body and then presumably will be passed on to some other living being and so on.